Traders, what is going on today? Excited you guys are here. What are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about retirement, you know, our trading retirement accounts. Uh, now, before we get into it, this is what I'm going to look like when I retire in year 2053. Uh, just so you guys are aware, if you're still around watching the channel, we're still going to be making videos in the nursing home. We're going to be doing our thing, everyday trading subscribers. That's what we're going to look like. And I don't think it's too bad. And no, my financial advisor did not prepare uh, this picture for me as well as my retirement documents. Not at all. But why are we doing this today? Well, I've been making some money and putting it in a place that's not really making any money. You know, and I have a Wells Fargo account, which is terrible for making money. I have a preferred preferred checking account, which you're supposed to be making some money on the money you got in there, which is literally nothing. Uh, like 0.01% on a preferred checking account if you got like five figures in there. And I ain't making nothing off of it. So I figured let's put this some of this money elsewhere. And so I opened up a retirement account, a Roth IRA. We're going to get into the differences between the traditional uh, 401k and the Roth IRA. Uh, opened up a Roth IRA. I'm going to get into why I did that. And especially at this time, right? Many people will look at me and say, Kevin, this is like the height of the market. Why are you getting in right here? And I understand that. As a day trader, you get it. You want to buy low, sell high, not buy high and sell low. We're going to buy high and sell higher. <laughs> or we're just going to be what they call compound interest over time. And I really believe that time in the market beats timing the market. So rather than waiting for years until it's the perfect time, let's just hop in there, even if it's the wrong time, but it's more important to be in the market, time in the market versus timing the market perfectly. And if you guys have been around the channel for a little bit of time now, you know I like revenue streams. And so I want to keep building on to them. And this is just going to be another one of them. But I ain't going to see any fruits of it till 2053. So it's going to be a little bit of time, but that is okay. It's really important now, even at a young age, 25, uh, to be preparing yourself for the future because it's going to get here before we know it. And I want the really old me right here to thank the younger me when 2053 gets here for preparing, you know, taking the steps to prepare myself, you know, for the future. So why a Roth IRA? Well, the difference really between the 401k Roth IRA is one of them, is tax deferred now and one of them's tax deferred later. And so contributions to your traditional 401k or other qualified retirement plans are made with pre-tax dollars. And so they're deductible uh, as taxable income. So you do have to pay income tax when you start uh, taking some of that money out of retirement in your retirement years. But some people think that their tax rate is going to be a little bit lower by retirement years. And so they just want to use it as a deduction now. So if you're making a ton of money now, and you just want to be able to use this as a deduction. And so later in your retirement years, uh, you can, you'll can just pay income tax on that. You might be making less. If that's what you're thinking, not a bad idea. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to be making more money when I'm at my retirement years than I am now. My plan is to keep moving on up. And I do think I'm going to be making quite a bit more money by my retirement years, whether if that's for you know the government at that point or the president or whatever. Any outside circumstances, we may be taxed to death at that point, or I may just be making more money. If things are the way as they are now, and I'm making more money, I'm going to be taxed a lot more. And so for me, I just want to pay taxes on the money now, and then later down the road, not have to pay any taxes on it then. And because I'm self-employed, I'm already used to paying a lot of taxes at the beginning of the year anyways. So for me, not really a big deal. Now, some people look at that as a deterrent to being self-employed. Wow, you don't pay taxes throughout the year. You got to pay a large lump sum, you know, at the start of the year. But I look at things a little bit different. See, if you're paying the government all throughout the year for your taxes, and then you get a lot of money back at the start of the year, that doesn't make sense to me. It's essentially saying I'm giving the government a loan, and then I get some of that money back, you know, on taxes with 0% interest. You're literally getting 0% interest on that money you give to the government all throughout the year. So for me, I'd like to take that money and do stuff like this with it. So it can make money 
throughout the year. I'm actually making some money on that money versus just giving it to the government and then getting some of it back at the end of the, at the start of the year with taxes, getting 0% interest. It's literally a loan to the government. So why a Roth IRA? Well, Roth IRAs have historically delivered between 7 and 10% average annual returns. And obviously, you can set up these portfolios however you want. Mine is a mutual fund. Mutual fund is just a company that pulls money from many investors and invests that money in securities such as stocks, such as bonds, short-term debt, uh, and all that combined is choop, your mutual fund, known as your portfolio. And you can set this up however you'd like, you know, tailored to you. What are your retirement needs? And that's why it's not a bad idea to talk to an advisor. See, what do you need? Obviously, you guys see here, my spending, I'm going to be getting uh, $25,000 a year. You know, so a couple thousand dollars a month off of $783,000, that's withdrawing 4% out of that money, you know, while it averages higher than that. So you're still making money while you're withdrawing some of it. So this is how mine's set up right now. And right now I'm just doing $300 a month. The max you can do is $500 a month. That's $6,000 a year right now as of for the Roth IRA. So tons of bonds, American Balance Fund, lots of stuff going on here. I'm making a lot more on this than I was with a Wells Fargo preferred checking account. Trust me on that. So really happy with it. Love seeing this grow. Going to keep, you know, taking money out every single month. I just got to automatically set up, withdraw 300 bucks a month for now. You know, we'll up it uh, as time progresses. But that's it as of now. The older me, going to be thanking the younger me because we are constantly finding ways to make money in our sleep. You know, if you can't figure out more ways to make money while you're sleeping, you're always going to be working when you're awake. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button for this old man. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We will see you all next time.